So now let's uh, uh, plot the Gordy diagram for this transfer function. Uh, if we substitute s equal to j omega to obtain frequency response, we have g of j omega given by. Uh, we have already learned how to sketch Gordy diagrams for uh, simple first order factors and quadratic factors. Here uh, in this transfer function, we have multiple first order factors. So we uh, one advantage of take, plotting the magnitude in dBs is that uh, here the terms are being multiplied. So if we work in dBs, their magnitude will be just added because we know that log of a multiplied by b is log of a plus log of b. So the magnitude plot of this overall transfer function will be equal to magnitude of this uh, factor plus magnitude of this factor plus magnitude of this factor plus magnitude of this factor. So we sketch the magnitude plots for individual factors just add them to get the overall magnitude plot. So we shall sketch the magnitude plot of each of the factors. Uh, for that purpose we write it uh, in a more convenient way. Uh, if we take 3 common from here, so we have 1 plus j omega over 3 and here j omega we common take uh, 2 common from here so uh, 2 and then we have 1 plus j omega by 1 plus into uh, 1 plus j, uh, j omega by 2 and here is j omega by 1. For uh, each individual factor we already know how to sketch the body diagram so here is omega uh, which was body diagram for uh, this uh, uh, factor 1 over j omega that was a straight line with a slope of minus 20 degrees per decade and for omega equal to 1 it was 0 dB so let's start our gra uh, graph from omega equal to 0 0.1 we have 1 uh, and 10 over here so at uh, omega equal to 0 0.1 the magnitude of this uh, thing uh, we remember is equal to uh, 20 degrees per decade 20 degrees uh, so at this frequency it is 20 dB and then drops with a slope of minus 20 degrees per decade. The magnitude plot for this factor was uh, uh, this was the magnitude plot at low frequency magnitude is 0 dB and at high frequency uh, it is also dropping with a slope of minus 20 dB per decade after the corner frequency. So This is the graph, magnitude plot of this vector. What about magnitude plot of this vector? So, corner frequency 2, 2 is somewhere over here. Uh, not uh, this. You see that this scale is not a linear scale, it is logarithmic scale. So, 2 will appear somewhere over here. And on the, uh, with you, you will have uh, the graph paper and you can easily locate this frequency on semi-log graph paper. So, the magnitude plot for this factor is uh, this one up to current frequency there is 0 dB and after that it is minus 20 dB per decade and the uh, magnitude plot for this factor is uh, we have uh, the frequency 3 somewhere over here and at low frequencies it is 0 dB per decade and then there is a rise of 20 dB per decade uh, and uh, the magnitude of uh, plot of this thing is log of 3 by 2 which is log of 1.5 uh, it comes out to be slightly uh, this is 3.52 degrees so here is 10 5 3.2 so the overall magnitude plot is obtained by adding the uh, all these graphs. So what we do is uh, up to if up to this uh, frequency, 
only these two part this uh, and this are playing their roles so this plus this is just uh, will be shifted this graph will be shifted upward uh, this was 3.5 so this will be 23.5 after this one after this frequency uh, we uh, will have uh, uh, there are two uh, terms with a slope of minus 40 degrees per decade so one with minus 20 another one with minus 20 so net is minus 40 degrees per decade so from this point up to this point we shall move with a slope of minus 40 degrees per decade so from here uh, from this frequency up to this frequency we shall draw a line with a slope of minus 40 degrees per decade so minus 40 degrees per decade line is uh, uh, something like this one. Uh, slope uh, is larger than this uh, slope. Otherwise, you can on the graph paper you can first draw uh, straight lines with uh, different slopes. For example. draw a line with a slope of minus 20 degrees per decade and minus 40 degrees per decade and then uh, here move with a slope uh, with the slope minus 40 degrees per decade after this point uh, here is minus 20 degrees per decade the second line is minus 20 degrees per decade so minus 40 degrees and there is another uh, graph which is also decreasing with a slope of minus 20 degrees per decade so you will have a from here from this point to the this frequency you will move with a slope of minus 60 degrees per decade so minus 60 degrees per decade line uh, this is a line with a slope of minus 60 degrees per decade uh, you will have uh, geometrical tools with you and you can easily move uh, from here to here with this slope so here is the slope minus uh, 60 degrees per decade from here here to onwards uh, here is minus 20 dB minus 20 dB it becomes minus 40 and minus 60 and then uh, plus 20 is minus 40 dB per decade so you will move with a slope of minus 40 degrees per decade onward. So this is magnitude, asymptotic magnitude plot for this transfer function. Uh, remember that these techniques uh, were uh, utilized uh, when uh, computers were not there and uh, therefore asymptotic plots were quite uh, convenient to sketch. Nowadays we have computer programs which can easily uh, get the uh, and these magnitude plots, Cody diagrams with, uh, with quite convenience. So, however, it is uh, important to uh, learn and know the interpretation of uh, these Bode diagrams and uh, uh, you should be able to sketch the Bode diagrams for simple transfer functions with uh, your hand calculations as well. So, the procedure is simple. Sketch the Bode diagram of each individual component and then add all those graphs. So in the next lecture, we shall learn how to uh, interpret these body diagrams.